All right, everybody, here we go. Another great day here at Bede Makaska, also known as Lake Calhoun, downtown Minneapolis. I am Joshua Swift. You are on the Authentic Intent channel. And I have kind of a little setup that you can't really see to kind of tone down the wind a little bit. Got our water here, got our globular earth, some tunes, so we're gonna hang out. You know, funny story happened when I was kind of setting up. A couple showed up and asked me if I needed any help. And I was like, yeah, actually I do. And so there was a, one of those park benches that you can move around the park here. Probably about, you know, 40, 50 yards down here. And it's kind of hard, you know, to do by myself. And I asked the guy if he could help me bring it over here, and he said no, because that's a municipal chair, and it probably belongs there. And I said, well, it's not tied down or anything, and actually you can move it from place to place, because it's the park's bench. And he refused, and he actually, like, thought you would go to jail for moving the park bench. And I was kind of taken aback by that. So if he's afraid to move the bench that you're going to see people sit on later on, uh, afraid of police action for moving a chair around, I didn't even bother talking to them about anything else because what's the point with people like that, to be honest with you? If they're afraid to move a park bench, then they certainly are afraid to hear alternative information that would completely go against their church and their education. So that was, you know, that's, I guess, I don't know. You, you wouldn't, I wouldn't really think like people would do that, but you know, that park bench right there can be moved. There's probably like a dozen other ones here around here, but you know, whatever. It was, I don't know, it was kind of funny to me just to start off the day like that. And so here we are. Hope you enjoy your time here. Hope you had a great day, whatever today is when this video gets put up. And I'll see you on the other side. What's good, fellas? Whoa. Not a whole lot. You guys want some water? Pez? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Have some water. So uh, I saw you congregating over there. Were you watching volleyball or coming up with something you could ask me? We were just um, both. We're trying to find a girl. You're trying to find his girl? Yeah, I lost trying to my get girl. him a girl. Oh, okay. No, I lost my girl. You lost her. That's all right. Don't chase women, man. Yeah. Seriously. I don't know where my girl is. I think her phone died. To be honest. No, no, that's, that's no, a shame. No, that's not why we came here. So I got a statement for you. If you could finish it for me, the only thing ever sent to space is. Okay, not talk not talking about psychedelics. The only thing ever sent to space is your imagination. Have you ever seen the earth from that perspective before? Have you ever seen the earth spin at a 23.4 degree tilt? Well, we're on the We're on a land, yeah. But how do you know you live here if you've never seen the earth from this perspective before? What about like when you're you can see the whole earth in a spherical well, shape just, from I'm the just, airplane I'm, I just, wow. I'm, no i never I'm not, saw it no, but, I'm, yeah. not, I'm saying just eyeballing it okay know? okay fair enough but in between you and the alleged horizon which is always alleged you can't measure the horizon but between you and this horizon what's in between you and the horizon when you're on an airplane Right. Probably the window, huh? Because yeah. you're looking out it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not saying it's a conspiracy by any stretch of the imagination, but what if those windows are curved because of aerodynamics? So then the alleged horizon might look like it bends a little bit. Could that be possible? 
Why am I answering all the questions? You're smart. Yeah, no, you're smart too. Smartest smartest one. One. Okay, oh, right on. Wait, so what was the question? Smart. Well, I'm just uh, out here provoking thought. You know, I got a YouTube channel. Uh, I encourage you guys to just come by. I got a premiere later tonight at 9. And I just come out here to the lake and I just share the idea that water, land, and resources might go on infinitely forever and ever and ever. How come if you go around the world you can end up at the same place going like, like if I just started walking, well, walking to this ocean, right? Let's say if I take a plane going west, don't you think eventually I would come back to this point right here if we went exactly west? Have you done this before? I have not. Okay, so we're just talking hypotheticals. I can talk about unicorns all day if you want. But until you do that, right, that's just kind hasn't of up in the air, done? right? Hasn't it been done? In regards to what? No like north to south like world? this has ever been done. No. It's always equator to equator yes. or, or yes. this. Because really what you're doing is just kind of going around your neighborhood. There's no different really than the lake that you're walking around. So are you circumnavigating the globe Earth by just walking around the lake? <laughs> I don't know. No? Have you ever seen a projection idea like this? So this is America, and we're in California, and we all have a really, really, really nice yacht, okay? And we just go like this. Do one of these guys, and then bust through the Panama Canal, and then we come back up to Can California. Wait, but other planets are like spheres, right? So like, Don't about, look peace to him. Moon? What about the moon? Is he your prophet? Is that why what you're appeasing him to him? The moon like, that's behind you right now, which isn't full, and the sun is right here. Where's the moon? The moon's right behind that cloud. You can't see it right, oh. right now. But So your logic is if, just for example, the, the lights in the sky are alleged spheres, that means that where you live is a sphere? That's logic? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry. Um, but... I don't know, doesn't it kind of make sense that it would be a floating spherical object like this one because of no. gravity? And, and Why? Why would that make sense? If you're told that when you're really young, right, and you never investigate on your own time, then the teacher is like a priest, right? And the, church, and the school is a church, and then you just never question the school, and then you just assume these things without ever investigating on your own time. So I'm out here encouraging people to question their church, I mean education. And when I present information that goes against your church, then yeah, this would be a big issue. So if you're not engaged, that's fine. But have you ever listened to like Tupac or any rap music from the 90s? I listen to Cowboy right now. Okay. All right. Do you know about frequencies and vibration and stuff? Yeah. Familiar with that? Yeah. Did you know that the rap music and the hip hop music now is frequency to kind of make you dumber? Did you know that? To control your mind? To give you beats and ideas and thoughts in your life about money, women, drugs, hanging out? It could be, but what's, more pop what's the most popular music nowadays? Probably hip hop. Hip hop runs the most of the industry right now. Did yeah, you know that a ma the majority concerts. of your hip hop artists are homosexual? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know that? Just, you know, I've been around the block a couple of times. I've circumnavigated the block a couple of times and yeah, yeah. I just look into these things. I'm not afraid to know? get absorbed with truth. How do you know? Well, prove me wrong, right? Well, I mean, like, if you have prove no it right, though. Yeah, prove it right. Oh, you yeah, exactly. No yeah. So I can flippantly so say this because it's my free right to free speech, right? Yeah. Okay. So have you ever heard testimony of other rappers talking about such ideas? What if there's other rappers bit, bit who slack. testify about such things? That the only way that you can get to the level of hip hop that he's listening to is you got to take it up the rear end and suck another guy off at the same time. Can you repeat that, please? No, I can't. No. So, that's what the majority of your hip-hop stars have to do. They have no talent. 
The only talent that they have is they use auto tunes to make their voice sound better. And then the government pays them money to proliferate their messages through hip hop. And then all of the children listen to it. And then that's all they think about is money, women, and things that they can't attain tangibly in their hands. Where did you get that information? Mostly the internet. So the internet's always right? Is the television always right? Okay. I see what you're getting at. So if if I get my information from the interwebs and you get your information, just for example, you get your information from the television, who's right? So both are controlled by the government. So what's the argument here? The argument is behind you, water lays level and flat, and that's a lake. So the vernacular would be called a lake, just because it's a smaller body of water. But somehow, during the educational process, they tell you that water can bend to create a sphere in outer space that you've never seen before with your own eyes. But you have to believe it so you can pass your classes. I didn't pass high school. I, that's fine. You don't have to pass high school to understand basic observations. I'm a little dumb. No, you're not. Who told you that? You did. <laughs> You said a rat makes them dumb, right? He was well, it, a rat it's, it's, I mean, it can retard your thought, yeah. So, so well, it's up to you that, if that's how you interpret it. But I would, in, I would just encourage you guys to think about how the water works in our reality. Another proof that you could use for the Earth being a level, non-rotating plane is the higher that you get up in altitude, the horizon always rises with your eyes. So whether you want to take it for what it's worth or not, high altitude balloon footage at 25 miles from the surface of the ground on Earth, it goes up and then you can still see a level horizon. At no point you would see a ball. Wouldn't it change, but like really, really slightly, because <clears throat> you get like really, really, really high? Mm-mm. No. Or like out of the atmosphere. Mm -mm. Have you ever been out of the quote atmosphere? I have never. I haven't either. Do you happen to know that the, our atmosphere and what outer space is claimed to be? There's a there's a kind of a line, a cutoff point. Do you happen to know what that cutoff point is? Like between our atmosphere and... and like what they would consider outer space or low Earth orbit or something like that? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I think I know what you're talking about. Carmen line? 62 miles? Yeah. Okay. That's what they claim, yeah. But really, outer space is just the absence of water vapor and matter. Yeah, so if there's no matter in outer space, how is it that there's a physical object that we people claim that's the moon that can be landed on if outer space has no matter? Yeah, that's pretty true. What if the moon emitted its own light? It had nothing to do with the sun, really. Yeah, I haven't. It, it's oh, there it is. It's still up there, behind the clouds. I mean, uh, I mean, there's. I don't know. I mean, how do we know anything's anything? Well, we do know that water lays level and flat because we use it as a means to build things and level things out, right? Like your floor. They use a plumb bob to make sure things are up and down vertical. And you can use a spirit level to make sure things are level and flat, right? Water is your totem here in this reality. And so gravity is the only way that they can mathematically tell you that water can bend over a distance. But you never observed that before with your own eyes. Because nobody here, I'm guessing, has ever been to, quote, outer space. So then you're just appeasing to authority and you're taking the church as authority and then you just believe them and then if you don't then you get made fun of called a conspiracy theorist and that's not very nice you just disagree with what the government says so i have to conform to the government because they tell me to or else i get batted on the hand by everybody who walks by because i'm not conforming and i choose not to believe people who have a habitual problem with lying to me how many times does it take for a your girlfriend or your wife to cheat on you before you leave her. It's only taking time. Tw 
twice maybe I mean some people forgive right maybe once you know I'm no better than anybody else I might forgive them once but when it happens over and over and over again and you can fact check these things and find out that they are lying to you about stuff well, why would they lie more land resources water yeah they have us all contained here in this area what if land and water go on infinitely forever and there's another continent over here like a month away you just travel because all compasses Wait. point north right yeah so what if we just go south and we just keep going on a ship or a boat and then there's just more land out there that we're not aware of teleport So I see what you're doing. Like most people, when they think about flat Earth, they just replace it with a disc floating in outer space, right? Well, there it is. It goes on infinitely forever. We are the floor of the universe. There's a ceiling above us. Do you believe nothing's like below us? Um, Russia allegedly drilled eight miles into the ground. You know, that's the furthest that allegedly human beings have been able to drill because the drill bits just get too hot at that point. So if, if the ceiling above us is, I don't know, 70 to 100 miles up and there's a ceiling, a barrier that we can't penetrate through, and then there's down eight miles underground is as far as we can go. Yeah, there's still a lot of land mass here, but they're not obligated to tell you about these secret bases that they have underground, are they? They don't want you to have it. They want you to pay taxes, hang out, listen to music and watch the basketball game tonight. Don't worry about all this. You want to watch the basketball game? Yeah, I think it's at 8 tonight. Yeah. It's going to go to game 7 because of advertising, most likely. KD's back with his fake injury. No, he's, he's done. Is he done? Yeah. He got injured again. Oh, no. Yeah, he's oh, shut. Achilles. Allegedly. Well, my dad tore his Achilles. And... Well, you can, you can objectively like see your dad's Achilles, well, you, right? Inside. You see the video of it popping? Like, no. Like when it, when it, when I don't believe bears, anything I see on TV. Snaps up. I don't believe anything I see on TV by mainstream anymore. What about? So what do you? But well, well, why? But I believe that you four are in front of me. But can't you just choose not to believe anything that's be told to you? But does that does that change? Like it doesn't change how right it is. I mean, like I get like it's like who are you to say this is this? Mm -hmm. But like at the end of the day, does it matter? Because does it matter? Well, it does matter because people are choosing to have faith in things that they can't tangibly observe themselves. And then they're appeasing to government, like NASA, about telling them that we're going to be able to send civilians to the ISS in 2020. I think that's real. It's a real news, that's a real news article. Check it out. ISS, I mean, I can, civilians. I, I assume that that has a, a real article. I mean, like, I get what you're saying about people, like, assuming that one, like, like, things, like, things are the way they are just because of what people say to you. I mean, like, if everyone just, like, I guess it's, like, the government, but, like, but, like, at the end, like, like, we could, like, have the argument, like, the, like, the discussion of whether or not, like, we see the exact same colors. Like, if we're, if we're looking at this, blue, and I actually have been seeing red as blue my entire life, how mm -hmm. would I know? I, yeah. Isn't it kind of like that, where it's, like really like you know are we do you think like we are part of some kind of a collective consciousness together where we could all observe the sky to be blue right and see that tangibly but then yeah i do understand colorblindness i'm partially colorblind myself but that doesn't then change my world view and make me believe in fairy tales you know like whether whether this is purple or whatever color it is, that doesn't that doesn't really necessarily change how I interact with people. But to believe that you're just some speck in the outer space with billions and billions of other things and they teach you that you're meaningless in school, I have a problem with that. And that you come from fish that crawled up on land and then all of a sudden became human beings. Well that's not that's not the theory of evolution. Right, so that's what that's what a majority of people believe because of this ball Earth, right? Because of gravity, allegedly gravity is all of a sudden magically able to turn things into spheres. 
but nobody can show me a sphere naturally being formed without a human element to it. Without another media, mediator or another medium or another way to make a sphere in nature, nobody can show me that. But that's a pretty specific, like, like shape. It's like, isn't that like kind of like the same as like with uh, different like shapes of snowflakes, where it's like, it's like you have one snowflake and it's different than all the other ones, but, but that's because it's so specific. Why is it? Why is it just a sphere shape? Like the idea of a shape just being one of many, like of an infinite number of potential shapes. I had gotten a comment from somebody earlier, and this will probably answer it. They had commented and said a pearl is closest to a sphere being made in nature. And I partially agree with that, but there's still a clam that makes the shell, makes the sphere, right? Yeah. So there's still a third, second or third party that's making the sphere. An eyeball isn't necessarily a perfect sphere. It's more like oblate, slightly. So I, I, I almost gave it to him, <clears throat> but the clam is still the one that makes the sphere. Well, right? Wouldn't you say that every, I mean, every pearl is different? I mean, it's kind of like, the sort of like imperfect element of our reality is that nothing is the same. Like, every tree grows differently. Yeah, we're all unique, for sure. I mean, it's like, isn't it like, like, if you take like, like, that's like one shape out of every shape. But people so, believe they live here. That's my point of being here. And at no point over a body of water from A to B, from 50 to 100 miles, will you ever see curvature measured. Uh, <clears throat> Why does any of this matter if it doesn't change how you live? Oh, it changes a lot of what you think, and in my opinion, that's why I'm here, that's why I do it. But your opinion could be a lie just if you think the government's lying to you. I don't expect you to believe me. I en encourage you to investigate my claims. But like, actually investigate. If everything's a lie, what do I believe? I want you to have discernment and choose whether what you want to believe or not, right? So, by me choosing to believe that the Earth is a sphere, you're going to tell me I'm wrong? I'm going to give you evidence on my end and, sh and show you that water lays level and flat and over a period, over a distance, you need to have curvature. And so if you know what a basketball's dimensions are, circumference and diameter and radius, do you think that we could come up with objectively uh, uh, an equation to be able to, to measure that and test that? Do you think that's possible? Is there an explanation for everything? Um, I think science tries to do that, yeah. But it still fails in some aspects, right? Um, that's why we have the scientific method. So that we can test things. And that's why we don't, we shouldn't rely on theories and just kind of the best that we come up with. But this is new. I, under, I understand where you're coming from, that this is a new topic to you. <clears throat> but have you ever seen the curvature calculation of the ball earth that you claim to believe that you live on? I know that water lays level and flat. And if we could agree that water on Earth is 75% and there's little uh, little amount of land where there's more water, right? How does it bend to make a sphere that you've never seen before with your own eyes? So all gravity is, is kind of pointing to the floor. So when you go from across the Earth, the gravity is it's kind of level like an arch, sort of like that, and it's all going down to the same point. Isn't it kind of, isn't that why it would be perceived as flat because the earth is so big? That so just but just because of the sheer size of the earth, that it, looks, it, it, it presents that illusion, but it's kind of like it's kind of like an asymptote. Does that make sense? Oh, shit. That's the idea, right? But how big is the earth that you that you say you live on? You keep saying big, it's big, it's big, but what are these measurements? Well, I, I don't know that, personally. Do you have your phone on you? I do. Okay, could you grab it, please? Access the camera. Okay. If you don't mind, please. Sure. Sorry about that. you good. I would love for you to take a picture of this. This is your curvature calculation that you need to have. Try to get the whole thing if you can. Or you can, you know, Google image or find out the curvature calculation 
because you need curvature to have a ball. So you keep saying big, 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 but if you actually know what the curvature calculation is, you would be able to see that this ball earth that you believe that you live on is totally impossible. Wait, can't you kind of, can't you figure that out? Would it be like, the curvature would be like, like, like 0.99, but like, like what the exact decimal would be, would be like really, really, really close, like, like, I'm talking about like, kind of like looking at it as like a line of yeah, like a tangent, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like you're saying like a sphere is like little lines stacked up or something next to each other? Kind of like that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. Couldn't it be like that? Well, I just, I, I want you to, I would like you to investigate my claims on your own time, right? But one thing that NASA has never done, this claim that people think people are walking upside down in Australia, they've never taken a photograph of an airplane flying sideways in outer space. They can't do it because it doesn't exist. You've never seen the tilt of the Earth before in outer space. You assume it because you're told that. Wasn't well, it also kind of like a perspective thing though? Like like if we like us be like if we never get off the planet then how would we know? Does that make well you see what I'm trying to say with that? Sort of? Like, 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 how would we find? How would we find out? Because we don't have a perspective that's different than ours to sort of triangulate on a conclusion. Yeah. So nobody here at the park has the resources or the money to do that, right? To go high enough to see that it would be church. Well, what do you think about like? <laughs> that's not church. Wouldn't yeah. church be supporting like a? No. Like I mean, a, uh, it's faith. It's faith, and that's a faith-based idea okay. yeah right the church teaches the bible that written by sense. men back in the day and that's, the and schools teach it's... science which is written by men hundreds of years ago that you've never met before right you can't verify the moon landing we can't verify the moon landing the five of us and aren't there like a bunch of historical documents and stuff that there's we... a bunch of historical documents in the bible do you believe in the bible I believe a man walked on water and lived a perfect life, yes. And that's faith, right? And I can choose to believe that, right? I mean, isn't it, isn't it kind of like, because I, I go to Mayo Academy. Okay. Um, we're, we're talking about evolution, we're talking about like kind of like a spectrum of different potential views between like the old earth, creationalism, and new earth. Isn't it kind of like that? Oh, that's the idea. Um, I, went, I was into Ken Hovind and whatnot, you know. 10 years ago or so, you know, Ken Hovind and Ken Ham and all them, like the creationists for that Bible side. Um, and even Jewish literature would say that any history past 6,000 years ago is totally hypothetical. So even, even with them being so diligent in keeping history, because that's, they have like a massive control problem, that they want to know everything and they want to keep it to themselves, even they will say anything past 6,000 years is totally up in the air. So to say millions and millions of years ago wouldn't even line up in their historical documents. So what do you think about like other planets? That that? Like, There's just lights lost? in the sky. Well, what, would the, what would the light be? Are uh, we well, in, are we it, in a room? <clears throat> well, my, yeah, I mean, we're kind of a, in a container, yeah. But I think the ceiling goes on infinitely forever, and I also think the ground and water go on infinitely forever. More water, though, because of the deluge, which almost, if I'm not mistaken, every ancient civilization talks about a flood. Yeah, that is a very common creation. Right? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. All right. Thanks, fellas. Yeah. I gotta go feed my kitchen. Do it. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, thanks, guys. Right. Have a nice walk out there. Bye. Thank you, man. Thank you. Pranksters. So, I've been in the game for a while. And if they think that I didn't know that they were texting each other when they're sitting right in front of me, they have another thing coming. What they were saying, I don't know, but... I was born at night, but not last night.
How are you today? Pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain either. What's this? Ba Baal? Yeah, Ball Earth. Ball. Ball? Ball. You know what B A A L is? I'm very aware. That's why I spelled it that way. Why? Yeah, because most people think they live here and they've never seen that before. That's I the image. It. That's the image of the beast, in my opinion. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that this is uh, not good. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's you're not right. good at all. It's not. Do you believe that uh, you live here in on this earth? This is what they call Earth, right? Yep. Have you ever seen Earth from this perspective in outer space before? Um. No. Okay, so you haven't gone like five thousand miles up in the air to see the no, Earth. No, I've been from here. I've seen it deep inside. Oh, okay, like underground military base or something like that? No, like deeper than that. Okay, like how deep? Like deep where souls are in. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've, I've seen exactly what it looks like. Really? Yeah. Real um, did when you went... You know when, when someone passes away mm -hmm. and their soul leaves their body? Okay. I've seen both compartments. Interesting. And the ones that serve... Mm -hmm. that are on the not so good side uh, yeah i know yeah. that much yeah so but yeah, with all that being said you still believe you live here though I believe even though I you haven't on, seen it on with the earth. earth yeah what if the earth goes on infinitely forever and ever and ever and it there's won't. just more water and land it won't oh okay why is that why do you think that because my father's gonna destroy it yeah he, yeah he's gonna destroy it okay. he but, actually destroyed it before and recreated it how so? The word of God says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. Period. Mm -hmm. And the earth became a waste and desolate place. And water was upon the face of the deep. So oh. you have this whole globe. Oh. And it was like filled up from here all the way up with water. Okay. And then God recreated the earth. How does water stick to the exterior of a geometric shape like a ball? How does the Earth hang in the space on nothing? It doesn't. It's not in outer space. Again, you believe in Word. ball Earth. And I would encourage you to check out my YouTube channel. I got a premiere tonight at 9 o'clock. I do this quite often. And I just uh, hope that you just investigate my claims on your own time. That uh, if you really are seeking truth, I already have the truth. Well, I do have the truth too, yeah. The blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. But you don't just stop at Jesus Christ, do you? Do you continue to pursue truth? See, what the Word of God says is that He is truth. Right, He's and, the Word manifest in the flesh. Yep. Those that come to Him and believe in Him, He manifests Himself to that individual. Okay. So when I say that I've seen the, the core of the earth, if I said I didn't, I would be lying. Okay, um, I would have to say I don't agree with you because the Earth doesn't have a core, like a gobstopper in outer space. Yeah, well, you're talking on the physical realm. I'm talking spiritual. Okay, well, fair Jesus. enough. We might not agree right now, but have a nice day. day. Bye. Telling us about the flat earth. Oh, I'm just, you know, hanging out listening to music. And if you want to come engage, yeah. Okay, I don't know much about it, but I want I want to know. Okay. May we? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's all my Are turn. we getting recorded? Yeah, you'll be on YouTube later. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be on YouTube later. I'll edit all that laughing out. No worries. Um, so you are recording or you're not? Yeah, I am recording. Here's my YouTube channel. I'd love for you to come by. Hi. Yeah. Um, I got a question for you. Have you, uh -oh. have you like seen it on Facebook or with your friends and stuff about Flutter? Well, I have heard about okay, it. Actually, I want to hear this because I okay. watched a long documentary about this. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we have someone who it. Yeah. Know Did you see it me. on Netflix? Um, I think I just saw it on YouTube. Actually. Okay. What do you happen to remember? What it was called? No. Honestly. Okay, that's fine. Pretty long. Yeah, usually um, what I like to ask people, if the Earth were flat, what do you think it would look like? Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Because most people think like this is where they live, right? Uh huh. And that's an outer space, right? Yeah. yeah. So outer space, just to humor the idea, and then we can come back to it later. But if the Earth were flat, then most people would say it's a disk floating in outer space like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so what I like Minus to. Minus the middle, right? Yeah, right. Minus where you put your finger at, right? Yeah, right. Um, but what I like to do is challenge people with infiniteness. What if the earth, water, land, resources goes on infinitely forever and ever and ever? And we're just kind of contained in this area? Because you don't have any best buys or, you know, places where you can hang out with your friends out here, right? Right. So why would you go out here? So let's just hang out here, right? So you're saying that it keeps going, but it's all just right here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Makes sense. But it is flat? Well, if you, if you look behind you, the water lays level and flat when it's not 40 mile an hour wind here in Minnesota all the time. Yeah. But if you come out here at like 5 in the morning, it's pretty level and flat and it actually looks like a mirror and it can reflect the sky, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so where is it in our educational process that we're told that then gradually water starts to bend and then turn into a ball in outer space that you've never seen before with your own eyes? I think so. No, it's it's only one. Yeah. I, I've heard it's only like one last right? Yeah. It's right there. So and it's that's kinda... the only company. <clears throat> and also what I heard, what I thought was interesting, is like the picture of like the men on like the moon. How like the flag he puts in, how it's like waving, right? But there's mm -hmm. like no, what's it called, like gravity? Yeah. Or whatever. Did you know that the, the when they were kind of coming up with this idea in the early 60s, late 70s, 50s, and they were coming up with the rocketry technology, the guy who was part of the rocketry program said that they needed three rockets, 800,000 tons each to get to the moon. And that's even to get to a spaceport halfway between Earth and the moon to then go then to the moon. So he was saying like physically, like it would be completely impossible to get to the moon. And so first time ever, right? America does it in 1969. So no problems, right? Yeah. And I don't know, that's just kind of conspicuous, you know, like to do something like that yeah. for the first time and then do it six and then do it five more consecutive times within a four year span because or three year span, because that's when Dick Nixon was president at the time. And we all probably you probably learned about like Watergate and all that stuff at some point or heard about it maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. So, yeah, so what this displays is how, how water lays in our physical reality and what most people believe water does because it has to stick to a ball, to the exterior of a shape. And the only way that it ever does is by using math and magic called gravity. So gravity isn't real? Um, the nomenclature for gravity um, is real. Like, there, things fall to the ground, right? Yeah. But what is pulling down? Like, what's the string pulling things down? Nobody knows what that force is. For me, I feel like it's a pressing of down of things. And it's really simple, just buoyancy and density. You know, then you can get into other things like electromagnetism and stuff like that. But, you know, really, like, our creator made this place really simple for us. And over a period of time, just like kind of Tesla said, that people have complicated things with equations and math to kind of describe their reality when math can use be used for simple observations maybe like within your realm of observation and tangible to go somewhere like if we have a math equation we could figure out how long it is from shoreline to shoreline on the other side of the lake here right mm -hmm. but just because you can do that here doesn't mean you can come up with an equation to land an rc car on on mars because you can't tangibly go there right like if each one of us was given five thousand dollars and we were like hey where would you like to go like anywhere here in their seven continents right we can tangibly objectively go to australia right but could we use that same money and resources to go to the moon well then we're dependent on government sources to give us that information and in my opinion that's really no different than somebody appeasing to the church or authority and so then it becomes a belief and then it's called pseudoscience because you can't tangibly go to the lights in the sky. You're dependent on authority to tell you something. Yeah.
Yeah, and so in 1927, you know, Universal Pictures, you go to Universal Florida, right? Right. And they had the ball earth and everything. They were previewing this in the 19, late 1920s before their movies started. Isn't that kind of weird? So they, had, they were already trying to push the globe idea in the early 1900s before we could actually have the technology to go there in the late 50s, allegedly, right? You know, so it's called, this is called predictive programming. So it takes about 15 to 20 years to socially engineer a new culture into something new because usually the older generation has to kind of, for lack of a better term, die off, right? Yeah, yeah. And we have to get the younger generation retrained into a new mindset. And so now everybody who graduates is part of the largest religion on our flat plain, and that's the ball earth. So you have Muslims, Jews, black, white, Asian, Buddhists, everybody who has what we would probably consider Western education is taught this when they grow up, right? But you've never seen the earth at this tilt before in outer space, right? And the funny thing is, is when you're given images from NASA.gov about Earth from space, all of the pictures are up and down, straight 90 degree angles. There's no tilt even here. So there's no frame of reference in outer space, allegedly, right? So no, you wouldn't really know what up and down is. And the only way that you know here on Earth what up and down is, is your equilibrium in your, in your mind, right? And then you can use a water level to find out how to level things off and build stuff or hang a picture yeah are you familiar like with the idea of satellites and stuff okay so have you ever seen pictures of satellites in outer space before okay all right so let's let's play this game so what does that look like to you satellite right dave matthews band shout out but where is it Right here on Earth, right? Because there's a tree to your right. Yep. But then when they, when you Google image the word satellite in space, this is what you get. Yeah. How does that look to you? Like Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from three years ago. You might have seen commercials about this called Viasat, mm -hmm. and this is a satellite that was allegedly launched about three or three or four years ago. And so they all look CGI. And really what happens with this idea is high altitude balloons carry what you would what would typically look like a satellite. So they're hooking satellites up to a high altitude balloon and these satellites probably weigh almost 10,000 pounds and then they launch them in basically the middle of nowhere and then they get launched up and they can actually hang up there almost indefinitely by battery power. Yeah. And so a lot of your communication right now is done through drones and high altitude balloons, but the majority of how you communicate here on the ground is through um, ground towers. And then from continent to continent, they have undersea cables, fiber optics, going from continent to continent. So the idea of satellites is um, just nomenclature for you know what I just showed you. But so I saw a picture of like the back and bottom one, they have the last two left. Oh yeah. On the bottom, the thing with like the Molly you were in like. Yeah, so, oh. you know, they have this weird inf infatuation with 33. So keep your eye out for 369 in your news headlines when you're watching stuff. Or, what do you mean? Um, well, each one of these segments adds up to 33. So the center one is 33. And they have a particular, I don't know, religion about that. They have uh, infatuation with, with what most people would call Jesus Christ, right? So when did Jesus, what age did Jesus Christ allegedly sacrifice himself and then rise from the dead? No, I am not. 33. 33 years old. And so they like to mock him in the news headlines. And so I just encourage you just to kind of check out, like, you know, Nipsey Hussle, for example. He allegedly died at 33. So what if Nipsey Hussle, the character's dad, but the person who played Nipsey Hussle is still alive? And have you ever seen Tomorrowland before with that doctor from ER? It's a Disney movie? No. Okay. Um, basically, what it's trying to convey is that, you know, when people, they, there's a certain uh, land or... 
a, a way to get to another land and the one percent of the one percent go there and so with my idea they're not obligated to tell you like what's here i mean that's a lot of water that's available right here right but are they obligated to show you what other continents or land masses there are out here do you feel like let's just say for argument's sake they're not obligated to tell you right so what if like prince and tupac and all these people that they tell us are famous their character's dead, but the person is still alive on some island or other continent. So, I mean, it's just something to think about, right? Because none of us go see their funerals. We're not allowed to go to their funerals or anything. And the majority of these funerals all have closed caskets, or they're not filmed, really. But they're all kind of part of the same club, so they're all kind of in on the joke. And they're kind of just deceiving the masses and proliferating the continuation of just, you know, go watch the basketball game tonight, right? Just go to school or go to work. You know, don't worry about all this stuff. Right. You know, so they continually give you things to distract you mm -hmm. and friends. And there's nothing wrong with having friends and all that stuff. But if you're kind of surrounding yourself with a bunch of yes men and like minded people that aren't venturing out, then you got to kind of question like, how am I going to personally grow in this place if you're not surrounding yourself with other people? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of reptilian or meat? Yeah, Do you I have. Do you that one? Do you think they're the ones <coughs> that are just trying to tell us the earth is round for... So a funny story about that, um, I kind of, kind of roll with the whole hollow earth idea. Hollow earth? Yeah, so that would be the idea of like underground military bases and stuff. Oh, I like yeah, a donut. donut. Yeah. Um, and so, well, if the earth were a donut, police would have eaten it by now. So, oh. Um, but the idea of like underground cities and stuff is probably quite real. Like, um, um, like the, the Denver airport thing? Possibly, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, allegedly, so. all of your Walmarts have some kind of connection to underground tunnels and train systems. They were strategically placed in America as military bases. Really? Yep. Because the guy, Sam Walton, uh, allegedly was military. And so they strategically put them all up. And a couple of years ago, everybody heard about how all these Walmarts were closed down. And then there was a big scare about FEMA camps and stuff. But. Yeah. Uh, recently, China came up with some kind of a sun simulator idea. And what that means is that they were able to come up with something that's similar to what we have above us, underground. And so there's this idea of geoengineering, right? Mm -hmm. So these look to me like real clouds, mm -hmm. right? But sometimes we'll see like this haze in the sky or like streaks that look like streaks and then they kind of dissipate. You know what I mean? Like when the airplane flies Yeah, it's an by. airplane, right? Yeah, well, it's not a commercial airplane, though. They're a lot higher in altitude than a regular, typical commercial airplane. Oh, I see. And people will argue that those are just regular contrails because they're so high up in the sky. Do you see any right now? I don't know. I'm actually quite happy. Yeah. So is that a good thing? It is a good thing. Do you believe in weather control? For now. You know, uh, JFK in 1961 talked about harnessing weather control. Like, are you familiar with CARP? I am, yeah. There's actually one north of Minnesota right now. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, and so they they do have 100% control of the weather right now. So anytime that you hear of some kind of a natural disaster, earthquake, or anything like that, it is controlled by them because they're control freaks. 95% of what you see on mainstream news is controlled narrative. By who? I don't know who, but, well, it could be, right? Have you ever seen the movie The Arrival? Not the recent one, but it's an older one back in the 90s with Charlie Sheen. Mm -hmm. We just did a project on the reptilian lake, though. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. What did you think about, like, that study well, of it? Well, um, I don't see any flaws in the theory. Yeah? Yeah. yeah like David Icke and stuff? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We did learn about just that. some of the celebrities, the queen. Oh yeah, She's I've heard about that. Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yep, I've heard about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reptiles. Did you know that roughly, just, just like throwing a number out there, and this is probably lowballing it. Yeah. One million children go missing a year, worldwide. And so. Um. Well, they do have this idea of like adrenochrome. Are you familiar with what adrenochrome is? Um. Do you know what the pineal gland is? 
okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, and so when you go to sleep, right, do you have a night light on or a light on or is it completely dark when you go to sleep? It's dark. Okay, that's good. Um, because when you fall asleep, what's happening is, is light is not getting to the back of your mind in your pineal gland, which most people call the third eye. And what that is kind of called is an, an antennae to the spiritual realm that is around you. And one reason why they put fluoride in city water is it calcifies your pineal gland. Yeah, I was talking, yeah. Yeah. So what I do, and you know, people are going to not really like this, but I don't have a permanent address right now. So I just buy distilled water in gallons in plastic bottles. Don't crucify me, guys. Um, but it's really the you only use way. Straws? I don't use straws. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, so I, I drink distilled water all the time. I'm not a Pharisee, I don't bring distilled water to a restaurant, right? I'll yeah. drink the water there, it's not a big deal. I feel like I, I can influence the water's molecules and pray over it, and it will actually change the essence of the water. You pray over your water? Yeah, I mean, I just think about it, you know, I'm like, so you know. do you know, have to say anything specific? No, I don't, no. I just, just, I can think, think about, about it. it? Yeah. All right, I'll start doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you have power anything, of thoughts. Is there anything in food that you have to watch out for? Um, well, I mean GMOs and stuff like that. Last week I bought like a half a dozen bananas from a Cub Foods that I live nearby. Uh -huh. And it was in the organic section. And after two and a half days, it was like black like Wesley Snipes. It was like, I was like, I just bought these bananas. How is it that these are rotting this quickly? Yeah. It's kind of gross. Um, and so you bring that, you bring that up. So what do you think about plant-based diet? <laughs> Are you vegans at all? No. I've tried it. You tried it? Okay. What did you think about that? Um, I mean, I liked it. Are you vegan? I'm not vegan. You're no. vegetarian? Nope. Oh. Nope. What do you I, think? I feel like the best way to judge a person is by what comes out of their mouth, not what goes in it. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like no one should judge another person by what they eat. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that that's anything that anybody should worry about. I feel like our creator allowed us the grace and the allowance to eat whatever it is that we want. Now, yes, do I feel like we could manage how we produce meat? Uh, I've seen a lot of vegan type doc documentaries. I totally understand where everybody's coming from. Yeah. I really do. But to judge me or to um, want to physically harm me because I eat meat, I feel like that's going against my choice, my, my free choice of being able to eat what I want. Because, like, again, to judge somebody because they eat is wrong. I think that you should judge them by what they say, by what comes out of their mouth, more so. Yeah. And so, back to your. Um, you know, reptilians idea, mm -hmm. you know, David Icke, I would call him a gatekeeper. Um, and by that, what I mean is he has some really interesting things to talk about, but he still live. He believes that you live here mm -hmm. just like Alex Jones and all these other conspiracy theorists. What they do is they gatekeep you into a particular community and they never really allow you to the freedom of choice and truth. So do you think that all of them kind of like correspond together? Do you believe in like certain ones over the others? I do think that they, I actually used to listen to Alex Jones all the time, five years ago, mm -hmm. all the time. And then it came across the, my table um, in my mind that he is Bill Hicks, a former comedian, which is kind of interesting. So people live double lives. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an interesting conspiracy, but really um, he is, in my opinion, a CIA agent, and he's controlling narratives. No different than Anderson Cooper, who in his biography on Wikipedia is former CIA. And all of your former anchors, like Walter Cronkite and all those guys, they are military intelligence. Because what they want to do is they want to get people familiar with that face over decades and decades, because then what happens? You trust them. You trust the information that comes from them, even though you never met them before, right? But because it's on television, the American public won't believe anything until they see it on TV.
have any conspiracy theories that you believe in that or like that you've like made kind of that you talk about? Um, like, that aren't really popular. That's a good question. Um, I just started thinking about like 5G. Are you familiar with what 5G is? Yeah, it's a new network. Yeah, it's supposed to launch next year. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to allow you to download like gigabytes in instantaneously. And it works on millimeter waves. So each tower has to be really close to each other within 200 to 300 feet of each other. Mm -hmm. And so it's a basically a node system, much like a giant matrix. Um, it's going to be like that sh that movie with Shia LaBeouf, Eagle Eye. I don't know if you've seen that before. But basically the AI controlled everything in that city in the movie. Mm -hmm. And so it can communicate with itself instantaneously. Yeah, that's what they're doing. And it's almost literally called Skynet, like on Terminator 2. And so in my opinion, one of the reasons why people would say, well, why would they lie about, you know, ball baller? What would be the motive, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I told you about the infinite plane idea where it just goes on infinitely forever. So people would say, how do you fall off the edge? Well, your consciousness isn't fast enough to keep up with our creators. So you will co-create as you sail over water. You could, in my opinion, co-create more land in front of you. Kind of like uh, Minecraft or No Man's Sky type of thing. I love Minecraft. Yeah. And I'm not saying, I'm not going as far as to say like simulation universe or anything like that. I'm really saying like we have with held and restrained our thoughts so much so that we really think that we live here on this limited ball earth but if it goes on infinitely forever i think that our creator would allow us that opportunity to explore and find new land and so with the 5g idea if in if a ship that looks futuristic came down or started hovering across the across the sky and it came up over minneapolis mm -hmm. where do you think that Quote, spaceship came from. No, you probably don't know now, right? But the majority, and I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but the majority of the public would probably think it came from one of those lights up in the sky, like an alien from outer space. Oh, okay. you believe in aliens? Uh, I believe that people from other countries can come here, and those are aliens. But I don't think that there's aliens up above us. No, not Do at all. Do you think there's life on another planet? I don't think that there's other planets. So you mm -hmm. think people from out here yeah. come in and they're aliens? Mm -hmm. oh. Like unknown countries? Like previous civilizations that oh, wean that wean us over so, mean, this like, technology. People, like, people from, like, okay, so question. Here. People yeah. from those countries, would they know they've lived before? Uh, if you research the idea of mud floods, mm -hmm. there's an idea of mud floods, reset, history resets, mm -hmm. um, the foundlings, like America could okay. be a foundling type country. So if we're over here and we have 100,000 children and then we bring them to America, we populate the country with 100,000 children. Well, we can't just let the children run around rambunctious, right? We need to have adults to kind of manage them, right? But those adults would be, for example, government officials. And then they would act like their parents, right? But really they're monitoring them, you know? Um, Watch oh, the awesome. watch the TV show The Society on Netflix. Okay. I watched it. Yeah, what'd you think of it? I really liked it. Did you? Yeah, I liked the first episode. I just couldn't handle the humor and the swearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish it focused more on like the society and not like their like yeah the drama. Yeah, the drama that was involved and everything. Yeah. yeah. And so that's kind of the idea is they're just with they're um with strain into exploring right because yeah. they're just inside that area and so the parents quote right would then take care of the hundred thousand children and then over a 50-year period real simple you could have a whole new society and then you teach them whatever it is that you want to teach them you know and that's the idea of the foundlings and resets and mud floods and stuff so when you think of like sediment and how like the flood or things like that because most people think about like evolution and whatnot and we have people in science that say well each one of these layers is a hundred thousand years old right well what if it's just a reset of them being able to manipulate the ground and the water and vibrate it enough so fast i mean like hundreds of thousands of hertz so much that it actually starts to liquefy the ground and sink into it like quicksand 
it's an idea, right? I mean, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall, right? Yeah. You know? Um, so are you saying uh, this ladder is infinite? I think so, yeah. It's more land and water. So then, what's above? Um, water's above us. So he separated the waters. So there's a... So there's a firmament above us. Did you know that you can recreate a star in a glass? Yeah. Um, check out. I, 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 I'll, 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 yeah. In my, I'll have a premiere tonight at nine. So check out the video at nine o'clock. Go onto my YouTube channel. It'll be at nine o'clock tonight. Can I have that card? <laughs> of course you can. You yeah, can actually I have do. these mixed tapes. Mixed tapes. Mixed, mixed tapes. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, oh, yes. <laughs> I have so many of these. I just can't leave them all out because. <laughs> So Why do windy. I have a red pill? Yeah, you got. The, yeah, you <laughs> got. You got the unique one. There, I just that's just from the previous I ones. Have it on tonight. So, do you want do you want a mixtape or do you want that one? I'll keep that one. That one. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Well, um, thank you so much. Well, I guess I have to go home and watch. Oh no. Yeah, go home, check it out, have an open mind. You know, well, like. We are having a hangout party tonight, so I guess. Okay. We're all, we're yeah. Watching. Nine p.m. tonight on my YouTube channel. And I'd love for you just. You don't even have to. Or say hi if you choose to, but what if it was your video I saw? They'll be there by then. I'm in the Subscribe. city pages. Do you have a? Really? Yeah, I was put in the city pages on Monday morning. Do you have a lot of subscribers? Oh, uh, I fare pretty well. Do you make money? Um, oh, you can do that. Did you, did you know that every thousand when you when you have your when you produce <laughs> trying to get rich now? <clears throat> but for every thousand views when you come out with your own content and you don't use like commercialized movie clips yeah. or music mm -hmm. and you just use your own content, for every thousand views you get a dollar ten to a dollar twenty five well, per thousand views. That, so yeah. can can you put how much you get if you put like a little ad in there? You get, more for that? you get more for each ad. So okay. usually like my videos go for about an hour, but I just have the one at the beginning. I don't want to bother people yeah, with no, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but people contribute through PayPal and other means and stuff. They send me money through like the mail okay, and whatnot. Nice. Um, but I use I use the money. I'm sorry? This is not your work? The majority of it, yeah. Otherwise I walk dogs in the neighborhood. Oh, I like that. I love seeing those. Well, I'll yeah. give your video some views. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> share, subscribe, <laughs> right? <laughs> we will. So, All right, thank awesome. you so much. Bye, you ladies. Fun. Yeah, I was just of course about you can. Have some pets. <laughs> and you can have some water too if you want. Yeah, this is good water. There's fluoride in here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just it bought it. Water? It's not distilled. Uh -oh, though, we don't so, want it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Pretty well, thanks. How about yourselves? I saw your sign, yeah. and I'm intrigued. Top of spot. You want a water? Uh, no. We're, we're okay. good. Some pens? Alright, let's go check out. Pens. Oh. <laughs> I haven't I'm seen these in front of me. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, so, I'm trying to formulate in my mind a question, and this will be the first time I asked it, so let's see if you can follow along. So there's two sets of astronauts, right? There's the astronauts that claim to have walked on the moon. Okay, so they got that group. Okay. And then we have a group here of astronauts that have gone to the ISS. Okay. Which is International Space, International Space Station. Station. Which is located. 250 miles above it's us. Just from it's just hanging out okay, up, okay. up above. Yeah. Um, which one of these two groups said they did not see stars when they were in outer space? Said they did not. Did see not see stars. stars. Yeah. Did either of them say that? They did, yeah. Mm -hmm. On camera. Yeah. I'm gonna guess moon because, and here's my thought, so the sun was reflecting so much light off the moon that they were just like not able to see it because of light pollution. Okay, fair enough. You're right, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Is it because so, of that reason too? Um, you know, it was cut something like that, yeah. Um, the first three that allegedly walked on the moon said they did not see stars, but the most recent astronauts who are up on the ISS claim they do see stars. They're everywhere. Right. And so I guess that just, you know, it's kind of a head scratcher. Why is it that one group of people say they did and another group that don't? There's just inconsistencies with that. Light pollution. You know? So, yeah, I mean, it, you know, and you can investigate that yourself. <laughs> um, right? Don't take my word for it, right? <laughs> um, but it is kind of weird that those three people who claim to have walked on the moon came back not really looking like they won a championship 
for being the first ones to do something. They came back looking the like, guys. yeah, the moon guys. Yeah, they came back looking like they were kind of hiding something, and they were not really ready to take on the onslaught of questions. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, something to you know think about. So I'm Joshua. I hang out at the lake here, and I just invite people to the table and kind of understand their perspective and where they have formulated the idea that they believe they live here on a ball earth in outer space. I, I, there's a guy in my hometown that talked about flat earth. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Chandler Colburn's older brother, I think. But GPS, global positioning system versus ground positioning system was one thing he brought up. Okay, yeah. Any, any, like, if you were to convince me or say, hey, hey, you know, have you looked at these two things about the ball Earth? Flat Earth isn't really necessarily a trail you should be walking on. What are some two, two proofs you could give to me to help me, you know, come back to you guys? Okay, so for clarification, when you say flat Earth, you're talking like quarter, right? Like a, you know, like a disc type thing? Nope. Nope, that's not at all what I think, and that's why, another reason why I'm out here. Okay, so what do you, what is... Well, like, could you give me your two proofs that you live on a ball, and then I'd love to tell you Okay, so my, my first one would be gravity obviously attracts mass to it. The larger the mass, the larger the gravitational force. Okay. It's probably got to be pretty evenly distributed, which would be spherical, which is the greatest, the object with the greatest surface area. Yeah. Whereas if you had a flatter Earth, like non-spherical shape, that would kind of disprove the whole... Gravity attracts mass theory. That'd be my first go to. Okay, what's the second one? Yeah, I, I think that's just a curvature. <laughs> curvature? Horizon, horizon. Okay. Like, like jet, um, trails, jet trails are not straight. Jet trails? Okay. So, curvature, where have you seen curvature? In jet trails. Skydiving? Okay, so what? 10,000, 50,000 feet? 12,000? 12, okay. Right on. Okay. And then for me, I feel like um, water lays level and flat always when contained and not moving. So behind you, there's a body of water that's contained by shorelines, right? And when it's not windy, it lays pretty level and flat and it almost looks like a mirror. Okay. And then another one would be the higher you get in altitude, the horizon continues to kind of rise up with you, with a variance maybe of about five degrees or so, just slightly below your eye level. And then when you're out at the ocean, and in my opinion, the sun is just traveling further away from your perspective. But regardless, we all see the phenomenon of the sun ray from the sun hitting and coming up to the shoreline into your feet. Have you ever been to the ocean seeing a sunset? Yeah, I have. But okay. I don't know if I paid that much attention. To it. Yeah, it's, it's not something that you, I guess, like sit there and look at. Well, here's the thing: you can draw a straight line no matter where you're at. You know, whether you're on the ocean or on the shore. Okay, did you know that if a surface is curved with with uh, like some kind of a reflection on it, that in its flat or it's flat, the flat will come up all the way to your feet, but if it's curved, it will only come up about halfway. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. If you were actually all the way over there on the curve, you wouldn't even be able to see the sun because it would be nighttime, right? Like, well, you've seen a sunset. You haven't seen a sunset, so I guess this is an observation that you might not understand. Right, but like, talking I'm, general, like, so I'm talking like, the sun like, goes behind. Like, yeah, so like by the time, so like take your globe, right, and you're like sitting right there. Not my globe. No, it's no, your no, globe. Take the globe, right, <laughs> and you're sitting mm -hmm. like here. Bring it over here. I'll show you. Right, it's taped it's down it's because it's is. quite it's brisk windy. out here yeah, today. Yeah. Okay, so say you're like you know on a point. And the sun's like over here, and if you were to draw a straight line to the globe, even to the outer edge of it, if you're beyond that, the reflection isn't going to carry over because you are out of the light, this line of the sun, which means it's going to be nighttime. You know, like once the sun goes down, that means it stops sending its rays this far, which is why it's dark, right? 
Where does it go? How do you explain nighttime? How do I explain nighttime? In my opinion, it just is a projection idea. This is the North Pole. The sun is local, significantly much, much closer and smaller. And all it's doing is just a circuit around. And then it has a relationship with the North Pole because I feel that the sun is an electromagnetic type of a light. And so it's just doing this and it has a relationship. And then it just does this. Or it could vortex up and come back down. But at no point, in my opinion, is the sun ever below you to the horizon. So where's the South Pole? The South Pole is alleged. <clears throat> is alleged. You've never been to the South Pole. I have never. I haven't either. Yeah. So, in my opinion, the so this is us here, and we would just use a compass because compasses always point north, right? Unless you're in like a magnetic field, but yeah. Okay. So, do you travel in many magnetic fields? Personally, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know too many magnetic fields like you're describing on Earth, but if we were just to keep going like this. I feel like we could just continue to travel by boat or plane forever and ever and so find more land. So, has anybody brought a compass to space? I don't know. Probably nothing because outer space is not a real environment. The only time that you've ever seen outer space as an environment that you think is real is with gravity with Sandra Bullock and that doctor from ER, <laughs> Star Trek, Star Wars. What about the ISS? What's Elon Musk doing? I don't know what he's doing. I'm, I'm, I'm not his dad. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what about the ISS then? You obviously believe that that's... No, I don't. No, you not think at all. That people actually went to the I don't. ISS. No, I don't. I mean, I use that as a means to appease to you, to try to help you understand that there's inconsistencies with the stories that NASA and the government give us about where we live. Okay, so how do you feel about... We showed you all those videos about... So, that is going to be my next question. Do you think that the moon landing was filmed in Hollywood? Uh, I feel like there's more evidence to show that wherever it was filmed, it was not on the moon. What about anti-gravity machines? Magnets. And the understanding of the ether and being able to harness electromagnetism and such. And when they come out with this new 5G idea, all that they're going to do, in my opinion, is this is another civilization over here. And 5G is uh, works on kind of a node system because it works on millimeter waves. So each antennae needs to be about 200 to 300 feet away from each other in your neighborhoods. So almost every other block there's going to be an antennae of 5G. And if they were able to harness that and amplify it, could they just be doing one of these and repelling the magnetic force of 5G towers? to make things appear that they're anti-gravity, but it's just an understanding of magnetics. Right. So there are no aliens from outer space. It's just another civilization that seeded us here or brought us from here over to here, like the foundlings with the narrative of mud floods. It's just another advanced civilization. And then wait, we just- wait, so you do believe in another advanced civilization that's not located here? They're humans though. But they're not located on Earth, which means that they No, no, no. They're not located house. here. They're located over here further. This is still the infinite plane. So... So, can, theoretically, can you take, like, a yacht and just... Track allegedly, in one direction? allegedly you can't because there's an Antarctic ice wall here. So okay. So, when it melts and in, it, like, 10 to 15 years, then it'll be, like new frontier right okay well um i would encourage you to go home tonight right or whenever you feel led fill up one glass with water and then fill up another glass with water and ice and have them both at the same level come awesome. back the next morning and see which one of them overflowed all over the table neither because ice will just displace it if anything it'll be significantly shorter so why do you believe that the ice caps are going to melt and then flood everything it's not going to flood everything. I'm That's just saying, what the majority like, of people think. You're saying that you can't take your yacht and sail straight over onto this continuous plane because of the ice caps. And I'm saying, no, ice caps allegedly. are going to disappear. Nothing's going to flood. It's going to stay at the same level. You're just not going to run into solid matter. You're just going to be able to keep going. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to give you both ideas. Both ideas would be the pizza crust is the ice wall. Right. And there's like a crevasse where you can get out and then see more whatever out here. Or this is just all hypothetical and they're just a scare tactic to keep us all in because out here there's no best buys 
So they want you to have Best Buy here so you're not going to go anywhere and travel and you have no adventure spirit because you think you live here and there's only so much water and surface area on this ball earth, right? And the only way that we can experience more land and water is to go someplace else into some other planet that you're never going to go to. But really, it's just more land and water here on this plane hmm. that goes on infinitely forever. Good theory. Well, I mean, water lays level and flat, okay? And so... So I'm thinking when you say that, like... Well, to have a ball, you need curvature, taking... right? Yeah. Okay, so do you happen to know the circumference of your ball earth that you believe in, live on? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. What about, the, the what about the moon from the earth? Happen I believe, to, happen to know? I saw somewhere that if you if there was a highway that went to the moon, it would only take you a couple hours to drive all the way up there because it's not really that far away and it's actually pretty small. So you could probably get there within a couple hours if you're driving 60 miles an hour. Okay, so you don't know. Um, the sun to the earth, do you happen to know the distance in that regard? It's super far. Light years? Mm -hmm. like not even light close. Years, no, it's not a it's a it's, a it's, 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 it's like, like I think they call it an astro unit or something like that. It's 93 million miles away. That's pretty far though. The moon is That's 200 no, trip, allegedly. Doesn't it, doesn't it take like seven seconds for it to get here? The sunlight? Allegedly. So, yeah. seven seconds out of a year in light years. Do you think, um, like with a basketball or a beach ball, like a, or a volleyball, because it's tangible, we can have a volleyball in our hand. We could put a tape measure around it and find the circumference and the diameter of said volleyball. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we could come up with a curvature calculation to find out what the tangent point is and what the curvature drop would be? It'd be easier to do it on a volleyball than on the Earth because the Earth has ridges <laughs> and mountains ranges and stuff like that. It's not a smooth surface. Okay, well Google tells me that scientists have allegedly measured the Earth. And it's 24,901 miles at the equator and then it's about 4,000 miles at the radius from the center of your Tootsie Pop to the edge here. And so over using water as our totem here in this reality, because water lays level and flat because we use water as a means to build things to make sure that they're level and flat, right? And so between 50 to 100 miles is a good way to tell what that curvature drop should be and it's quite significant because it's 8 inches per mile squared. Okay? And so from A to B over a body of water, eventually there should be curvature drop and that building that is 2,000 feet high should be obscured by a hump of water. Okay. You, okay. Proportionally, though, does that make sense? Like 50 to 100 miles versus, would you say, 21? Do you have your phone on you? I don't. Okay. Um, I I have a mixed tape. Like mixed tapes? Heck yeah. yeah? It's a CD or DVD? Uh, it's a DVD. You can throw it into your DVD player or a CD-ROM that you're in your computer, and it's got information on there. And then you could look at your curvature calculation to find that we see things too far over a body of water. Our technology has caught up to them, and we're able to see things that don't, don't equal up to your curvature calculation. Because to have a ball, you have to have curvature. Does that mean your math is bad? Your math is bad. Yeah. 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 So we're using your maths to be able to show you that you don't live here, right? I guess I can see how that would work out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think the globe is like a generalization, not necessarily like a super accurate depiction in size of, in like scale or whatever. But. Is there any possibility that you could be wrong? Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Is there any possibility that the information I'm presenting to you could contradict what it is that you're being told at all? Yeah. Okay. Are you open minded? To yeah, look in and I don't, investigate. Well, I, mean, I, I question anything. Like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. I mean, that's basically what I'm here to do is just encourage you to question and challenge what we're being taught in school. Because when we're taught this stuff, we're quite young, and then we're taught by authority. And what are we told not to do when we're young? Question it. Yeah. It's and true. now I am questioning it. And I'll every day. That's how. 
science develops, you know? People well, yeah. Stuff. It, it, but science also uses the scientific method, right? So, given the resources and the maths to be able to go to the moon, <clears throat> the three of us should be able to do it. But unfortunately, NASA owns the skies and the government won't allow us to go up there unless they do it for us. And then it's like appeasing to a church. It's no different than the Mormons or the Catholics or anything. And everybody bows down to the church. And if you start questioning it, you get batted you get on the down. hand. Yeah. I can see that. So it's kind of, no offense, cult-like behavior from some people that come by and say that I'm an idiot because I have vel I have torn my way away myself from the Velcro. They just blindly mm. like accepted this fact. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they just accept it and they just, you know, they, they're like, small, well, what does it matter, right? They live a small life. <clears throat> yeah, it's they're a, trying to, like, it's a small world after all, right? validate your... Well, I no, call them... Just, I just think that they don't see the value in it. They're like, well, I got a plenty to do here. Right. What's, what's the point of focusing on that when I'm never going to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, they're never going to leave it, so... We got basketball tonight. We got twins game. <laughs> twins are doing great. Sure do. I got work to do tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> Hanging out with my family this weekend. Not local. And so what that does is it just keeps you busy. Yep. And they want to keep you as busy as possible and entertain you with bread and circuses so that then you don't investigate and find out that they are actually lying to us about stuff like harnesses and the ISS and green screens. You know, so. You recorded it? I see you yeah. have a scene on TV. Yeah, we're just having a fun out here and I got a premiere tonight at 9. So in about a, you know an hour, uh, an hour or so. So if you're in well, so inclined, yeah. I appreciate you stopping by. You've given me lots to think about. Oh, why not? It. You know, whenever you're ready, right? <laughs> Check it out in your own time. Thanks oh, we so had it before. Yeah. Thanks. Have All a good right. one. Bye. Thanks for uh, taking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you ever work out? Yeah, occasionally. Okay. I have a, a friend that I met here at Lake Calhoun who came up to the table just like yourselves. And we started chatting, and him and I got along really well, and he shared me his cards, and um, he does his own, like, little intense workout P90X thing, you know, so. Recovery type stuff, you know. Is there a YouTube in this? Yeah, there's a card on the back of the, 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 the disc there. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Bye. Good night. Yeah, you too. Oh, we'll put it on later. Oh, yeah, because I saw something about like the flat earth. Yeah. Do you have like any like uh, facts to back the flat egg chubby? Maybe I can learn. Yeah, sure. Do you have a few minutes? Yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Because I've been taught that the earth is round, you know? Yeah, since, right. Ever since primary school. Yeah, right. And so, a couple of people right now, so some people are saying that it's flat and I do not really understand why it's saying it's flat. Uh -huh. So if you give some points to back the fact why you feel or you believe it's flat, then I'm very happy and grateful. Okay, sure. Yeah. How about water behind you? It's contained in the lake, right? Definitely. So the shoreline is holding the water in, right? Mm -hmm. So it's contained. And so when water is contained, it will always seek its level and level off. Okay. And you know, if it's not windy out like behind you, and it's like five in the five in the morning, you feel like the water would lay level and flat so much so like it would be like a mirror well, to reflect the sky. If it's not windy, then the, the, the water has to be like stable, right? Yeah. If it's not windy. Yeah. But does it doesn't reflect that the earth is flat. Well, just follow my ideas here, right? Okay. okay. So that's a lake, right? Yeah. And then you know what a pond is? Yeah, definitely. Pool. How about the ocean? I know about the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I've been to the ocean before too. And so how do you differ how do you separate like water laying level and flat behind you in a lake, but the oceans don't lay level and flat? Well it's like I, I feel like the ocean's like uh, like bigger and there is no like there's no clear cut uh, boundary that defines the ocean because it's really it, it, it extends, right? It extends. So it extends so you cannot really, really like have a clear boundary of an ocean or a whole 
tied to water in the ocean because there's no bank, right? But like ponds or lakes, right? It's set, set in that the, the, a lake has a, a boundary that's around it. Mm -hmm. Right. So the oceans don't have a boundary because you believe you'll live on a ball. I just we just clarified, right? Mm -hmm. That the lake lays level and flat. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to the Great Lakes before? Uh, like Superior and I haven't even been to the Great Lakes. Michigan. I I just came from Idaho. Okay. Yeah, I'm new over here, so I haven't yet explored the whole like city, um, yeah. state so far. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, but I, well, like the point is so. If we're saying that the earth right is flat, right? Because right now, as we speak, right in Africa, where I come from, right, West Africa, it's nighttime over there. Yeah. Right now, as we speak. Sure. So if the earth is deemed to be flat, right, and we have a sun that reflects light on Earth, yeah, which means it's flat. That means every section <clears throat> of the Earth has to have light at the same time. Yeah. Why we have? Why are people right now in, in Australia? I believe as well, it's dark right now. Mm -hmm. And then we have light right now. Yeah. So as the earth keeps rotating, right, the other guys on the other side, we're going to have light and we're going to have darkness. Mm -hmm. So that's a clear point that shows me that, tells me that the world is round. It's round. Who told you that? Well, it's very obvious, right? Okay. It's not obvious. Who told you that? Well, well didn't you just come up initially and say that you learned all this from primary school? Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah definitely. Okay. Yeah, primary yeah. school and, 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 and middle school, right? But the, a, a clear fact to me, because mm -hmm. I'm a I'm, I'm West African, right? So right now, I, I talk to my mom, right? If I, if I call my mom right now, she's sleeping because it's dark. Yeah. But over here, it's still light, so mm -hmm. if... So I'm asking myself a question. If the earth is, if the earth is being to be flat, right? Yeah. And we have the sun, the sun that reflects light on the earth in every section, every part of the world, then it means that they have to have light at the same time as us. Hmm. Why so, is that? Because the earth is, because it's it's definitely round. If they haven't light right hmm, now, definitely. It's, yeah. Well, I, I'm just, well. I don't like. I'm 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 not, I'm not trying to like to like uh to debunk the, the church. You're not insulting me. You're no, not no. debunking anything. No, no. You're just regurgitating what you were taught. Exactly. Yeah. And then, so and you're then, you're you're telling me Bible scriptures. No. Well, that's what you're doing. Well, you're really telling like, me what your church, I mean primary school, well, and got, your pastor, I mean your teacher, told you when you were growing up. Yeah, but there's one fact that I know that is what fact that, that? I, that I experienced because I was born in Cameroon, right, West okay. Africa. Yeah, I think I know I that say, you were born in Africa. Yeah, right I'm, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if I'm coming, up, I'm coming over here. I'm calling my mom back home, or I, I call my parents or my brothers back home. They're sleeping or not because it's, it's, it's night every day. Mm. So it, 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 it gives me like some kind of like an assurance that the earth the is round because they have night every day, we have day right now. Okay? Mm. So if it was flat, then we all have to have light at the same time because we the do? sun reflects, right? We do. That, that, that's what I'm asking. That if it's flat. Well, you're telling me, you're not asking because I haven't been able to explain for the last three minutes okay because well, i've heard you tell me that you're from africa four times mm -hmm. you told me about your mom in the dark right now because it's nighttime twice yeah and i have yet to even explain my side of the story okay, well, so if you have anything else or are you are you done well I, i'm done i mean it's, it's just a debate right we talked like no for sure together, but so. a conversation or a yeah. debate would mean like you say your part and then i get to say mine right yeah then definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead and tell your part okay, sir sure yeah, yeah. so with what most people do i'm trying to learn i'm trying to learn by the way so yeah you know, fair enough yeah yeah what most people do is they think flat earth is this it's the disc floating in outer space okay. and then there's like this massive sun that they've never seen before in outer space mm -hmm. and all of a sudden like now the sun is like supposed to do this right yeah that's not at all what i think so, like, so you're presupposing something on me that's not even true and that's not fair right okay so like how, how do you think it's flat so I can understand? Yeah, so this is flat. This is the map. Okay. So that's this here. That's this here. Okay. That's this here. Okay? Okay? And here's the sun. Like this. See how close it is? Yep. See how close it is? So in your mind, how far is the sun away from or the earth right now in your idea of where it's you live? Millions of millions of miles away. Yeah, it's, it's not at all like far. that. No, it's actually local. Like very close? Like very close. Like how close? Can you, like I would estimate? say 100 miles. 100 miles only? Some people would even say, venture to say 50, oh. 20. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you see how this is America? Yeah. Exactly. Where's Africa? It's gonna be right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So is that light over there across the lake gonna illuminate this area over here? Uh -huh. Think again. That light over there, uh -huh. that's on the walk path when it gets dark on the other side of the lake. Is that light over on the other side of the lake going to illuminate over here where we're at? Yes or no? It's very close, so yes. Right, so because... It, okay, let me it, let me if, rephrase it. If a light is over there, right, and then... It, that, it that street light that's over there is going to light up over here? But the street light is not... It, the intensity, like, it's very... That's a bulb. Yeah, right. right that, that's a bulb right there. Yeah. So what that what is could we say that and just for argument's sake? Well, like that the, the sun. Can I can I just okay just but it's not really just calm down. Okay, just take a breath. Okay. I'm trying to convey my message okay. to you. Okay. Uh, okay. From from what it sounds like, we're not gonna agree. Okay. Right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So can I convey my message? Definitely. And then you can and then you can convey but yours I, to me because no offense. Yeah. Definitely. I used to think the same way you did. Okay. Okay? So I'm not even close to where you're at anymore. But let's be real here, okay? That street light over there is not at all going to illuminate this area. Okay. It's going to illuminate that area only and it's gonna be completely dark here in about an hour. Right? Uh -huh. Same thing with the sun. The sun is over America right now and it's lit up and it's dark over here and so what the Sun does is it does does one of these it's all you know, hypothetically right yeah exactly yeah. and then as it becomes winter out it just does one of these and it gets further and further and that's why the Sun when you're in Minnesota it's more southern in the southern hem um, horizon but in the summertime, like in a couple of weeks, the sun is going to be directly above us. Where are you at? Right? Like this. Uh-huh. Does that make sense now? No, it makes sense. Okay. okay. So can you see how it can be dark in Africa or Australia and it can still be light in America? I can see. Because the sun isn't as big or as far away as you think it is. Just follow me here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that would be the seasons. Okay? Yeah. Does that make sense now? Yep. Well, so does that help clarify just that part of the idea and your seasons and how the sun works? Um, it, it makes sense, yeah. It makes sense, okay. yeah. yeah, fair enough. What about, do you have any other? Um, well, I don't want to, well, I, I, I think uh, we are on a, on a good on a good part and yeah. I, I can get the, the point, your point of view about why the earth is flat. Because water lays level and flat. And that's what I was trying to ask if I can learn from you about yeah. the earth flat. So I just had a very good point right there now. So. Yeah, and so now if water lays level and flat, like behind you in the lake, how is it that you start to think that water can all of a sudden bend and make a ball? Because you've never seen the earth in outer space from this perspective before. Have you? Okay, have you ever seen the Earth spin and tilt in outer space before? I mean, well, you, you can see the Earth spin and tilt, you know, you can see that spin and tilt. You can? I mean, just if, it, if the Earth is rotating, right, do you see how, how, how it rotates? You if know? they told you that, yes, I can see how that can come up yeah. to your mind, right? Well, like, well because if, <coughs> those who study science, right, they have a more concrete, right? Oh, concrete view of things, right? Like, no, not, they don't. I don't think so. As but that's your to, opinion. As compared to people who are just like, you know, who are doing something different, I'm doing too, right? Yeah. I believe that if you specialize in the field of practice, you might have a more in depth knowledge about something. Or that so if I go to church longer, I'll be able to know more sciencey stuff? It's like, it's, it's just like saying if you're a medical doctor. That's tangible. Right. Then, then you're definitely. We can do more. that here on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Like I can be a medical doctor here on Earth, right? No, and which means that you have a more in-depth knowledge about medicine as compared to right. a normal person who's not in medical school, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and so, so I, when I, so, I, so I believe in that, I believe that people. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do yeah. too. I can tangibly, objectively become a plumber here on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so when you believe astronauts go to outer space, all you're doing is just believing in prophets that land on the moon. You see that up there? Do you believe that man landed on the moon and walked on that? Yeah, I believe. And okay. I believe. Oh, do you disagree on that? I can't do it. So yeah, I do. That's science. Well, you, like recently, the, the, the Chinese uh, astronauts just, just landed on the moon about three months ago. Okay. Nobody, nobody landed on the moon. 
they just did. No, they didn't. If you believe that, that's a prophet and that's fake. Because that's not science. That's a belief. You can't prove that yourself. If you're taking someone else's word for it, you're believing someone else's word that you can't demonstrate yourself, and that's fake. That's a belief system. Science is provable and objective and demonstrated here on Earth. That's science. Oh, so, okay. All right, I think we'll... Oh. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes sense. Okay. okay, do you know how many people walked on the moon? Do you happen to know? Twelve. And can you, like, um, identify those who walked on the moon? Yeah, you can go online and look it up yourself. You know, I encourage you to do so, because I'm just here to share information. And if this piques your interest in the future, then I encourage you to look it up on your own time. Because um, in 2015, I didn't have anybody to help me to do this. Like, I had to look because I had a desire to know truth and not fantasy like Santa Claus. So, so if you want to believe I saw, I saw, like Santa Claus stuff, that's up to you. But you're an adult, right? Okay, so like 12 people work at home. Yeah. I, I can go right now and Google and see. Um, of course you can. Right? Yeah. Right. You know how many people claim just, um, uh, they were called disciples? How many people walked and followed Jesus around? I think about 12. Right? Yeah. Isn't that kind of a weird? So, so 12 people saw a man walk on water and then 12 people came from the moon and came back here and claimed they walked on the moon. Which is more true? Oh, so, oh, okay. So, so, so you believe in that? You believe in 12 people walking on the moon and walk on water too, right? You believe in that, right? No, I don't believe anybody walked on the moon. I'm using that as an example. Okay. That's faith, right? Okay. Men lie. What does Jesus say? Let no man deceive you, right? Do people do people who work for the military lie? Most of the time they do, because they have no obligation to tell you the truth, right? Because they have their own motives, and they're a part of uh, their own little club. So I just suggest that you don't trust anybody. Don't trust me. Look into your do, do your own research. You know, I can give you a good start, and you can take it for what it's worth. I have a mixtape. Take really? it home. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, put it in your computer, man. Hey, hey, thank you. Want a water? No, nah, I think I'm good right now, sir. All right, man. Appreciate you stopping thank by. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'll see you around. If you have any questions in the future, stop by. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Yeah, take care, man. Yeah, you too.